This is KB and welcome to the Afterlife Season 3 server. And as you can hear, my quality is back to normal because I'm back home from visiting my brother. And I'm very excited to be back because I'm ready to get to work on the server. And uh, visiting my brother is always good for me because it, it anchors me, it refocuses me because my brother and I, we have the same missions, the same goals, the same things we want to get to and achieve, so that it helps to anchor me and to refocus me. Which means I am absolutely ready to get back to work on the Afterlife server, and as you can see I've already been busy working, I'm still clearing the water by the Guardian Temple, and from this time lapse you can, you can see what I've been doing. It's, it's more work than I thought it would be, but that's all good. It's no problem, we're getting close to the end, where we can actually build the Guardian farm, but that's not happening in today's episode. In today's episode, we're going to be working here at the villager settlement. And what I want to do is uh, start the preparation for my permanent storage facility, my storage room. And the main thing in this episode is this settlement needs... It needs some food, it needs a food source, so we need to plant some crops so that Robin and Reagan can actually have access to food because then they can start expanding the settlement. Um, starting off, we may have a problem over here. I'm gonna lead these dudes away from Robin and Reagan because I cannot risk having them Destroy my village. Can you... Dude, can you just... Just give me a second here to eat. Okay, I need to make sure not to kill this dude. But those two dudes, I can... Definitely get rid of them. Do I have your attention now? Come here, dudes. Don't... Don't you look in that... Direction. I don't have my ender chest on me, so I can't even get the lava bucket out. But I'll get rid of these two dudes, and then I will go get a lava bucket to get rid of that dude. I have my ender chest on me, but luckily, this dude with his banner has despawned. Crisis averted, so let's get to work. Right, so as for my storage, I'm going to build it underground because then I can expand it in any direction as much as I want and if I want to make auto-sorting, I can actually hide it because that, uh, that redstone, man, it's, it's ugly sometimes. Now, as you can see, I'm going to be placing my entrance over here, just a very basic entrance and then... Um, Underground, I'm not going to do much in this episode. We will get to that in another episode. But I just want to mark off the location because I, um, I think once we have a good storage in this area, it will be better for everything because most of my projects are in this area. So I don't need to travel all the way back to spawn because that's, that's, that's a bit of a struggle. Um, the risk of that is that I never go to spawn but I do have a lot of shops, so that kind of will help keep us going to spawn. So um, I'm going to continue, get this entrance in place, and then I'll show you how it looks. Because uh, we can't spend most of our time here, we need to develop the farms, I think it's going to be in this area. I'll have a scout, and then I'll bring you back for the updates. And there it is, the entrance to my storage room, storage facility, which won't be built in this episode. Um, it's just a very basic design, just copying the design I already have and tweaking it a little bit. Oops, you didn't see that. And I connected the path up to it. I don't like it that much yet. Um, but I won't stress too much about it because I think a lot of things will be tweaked as we develop this place. So for this farm we have to develop, I'm going to do it in this area. You can see I cleared out some space. I'm actually thinking I'm going to remove more of the dirt, probably up to here somewhere, just to shape it a little bit better. 
and then in this area we're gonna do the farm I'm going to be using the same road and the fences to go through this way which will separate the different types of crops in this direction and then we probably need to build a little house uh, I'm not good at that so I won't do it in this episode maybe maybe not that is one thing I'll figure out but I do think we will we'll do a like a little bit of a shaping and removing some of the dirt something like that and there we go <laughs> that shape is fine then we can remove this and make it look a little bit better and this new height is where the farm will start I have no idea how to start this as you can see I marked off kind of an area where the road can go but I'm already thinking that these should be removed so I want to angle it that way because I don't want it to be too symmetrical so this one could probably bring it out a little bit and that one can probably be there and then this one can come out a bit more then we can have a little bit of a curve in it I think that works so what I need to do next then is figure out where I should place water and the spacings I think I should get my hoe and then yes that will help then I can actually measure where to place the water And we have a wheat field with some coarse dirt in between. So I thought that would break break it up a bit as it grows. But now I'm thinking we need to do an experiment. I'm gonna go ahead and add some potatoes and some carrots in between this to see if you can do that breaking up method with with crops and see how that looks I'm currently waiting for this to grow to see if the blending does look good not sure yet but in the meanwhile I'm going to be working on adding some of the walls in here so uh, it's just the basic wall I have here the the dark oak log with the normal oak fences words KB words remember the words um so i do think i'll bring it forward here just to give the wall itself a little bit of depth okay, take that away and then i can probably no that's fine that's fine and then we add that in there and there is the wall on this side so this should go away go away um, and it just needs some of these right on there we have our first wall the fences are giving the structure as always adding roads give structure so I don't know if we want this blended textures with the different crops in one space but I do know I'm gonna extend this to the water and uh, the next thing is just to start adding in a path that will go straight through this space and uh, also I don't know if I'll add crops on this side and now a blonde in the wild oh oh you can do it little one. Oh, oh there we go I'm always fascinated by watching a blonde in the wild Look at how he wiggles around his natural habitat. Sometimes I wonder what goes on in this little critter's mind. But then, all of a sudden, he gets to work and reveals what goes on in his skunky little head. Let's leave him be. For now. 
and come back some other time to check in on a blonde in the wild. So what you're watching now is some clips I recorded last night while, or two nights ago then, while you're watching this video, while Blonde Kung was streaming, and as you can see, <laughs> I'm just in a jacuzzi next to a campfire, so Skunk was working hard at building the town hall, and uh, I decided to decorate his scaffolding with some flowers and trees around it, and then Jay showed up, so we made a little bench to sit on and watch Skunk work hard. But then the chair was upgraded to a jacuzzi. And eventually we made some food by campfire and Skunk showed up. So we had some dinner together. We, we, we had a time. We, we have a time on this server. Those were some quick random clips I recorded when Skunk was streaming. Just some, <laughs> some shenanigans happening while he tries to work. I think that's something that normally happens. But now, getting back to the work at hand we have to do. You can see I extended the farmland going down to the river. I do like it. I'm not going to do too much... Um, Decorating, terraforming, maybe putting some fences later. Not going to do too much now. Because I don't have much plans for the river yet. Don't know what to do with it. It needs to be transformed somehow. But what I can do is expand the farm to this side. So I'm again using this scattered pat pattern. Which I think it looks okay. Maybe it needed more potatoes and carrots. Uh, but we've expanded the side and... I'm trying to figure out what needs to happen next, and I think it's trees. I think we need to make trees, but now the question is, no, I shouldn't make trees in there. And what trees, though? Do I just place some oak trees around the place? I think I do. I think we can place some oak trees. Maybe we can customize them a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and add some more trees. See if that fills in the place. Kind of fits in with... Right. Kind of fits in with f expanding the farm and decorating things around it. E yes. Trees. Definitely need trees to fill in the space. I'm not good at custom trees, so I'm just going to build more of these trees. As the sun sets, we can take a last look at the current state of the farm. This is a good start for the farming for this settlement. Um, I like how it turned out. I added some hay bales and the trees are definitely filling in the space nicely. But as you walk through, it, it, it feels good. It feels very nice. But um, that kind of, that's all the time I have for this episode. Because uh, this is the day before the episode needs to go out and I need to finish editing. And it has to go up. Because it takes me about 6 to 8 hours to upload the video. Because, you know, 0 0.7 upload. Not fun. Uh, anyways, that is going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like. If you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.